because that revelation is going to build on a revelation you've already had, but it's also going to set a stage so that you can get another revelation that's built on this revelation that I just gave you. The Bible says it this way, line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little and there a little. But if you don't operate on what you know, sometimes it's better not to have known. Let's turn, please, as our last scripture to the book of Galatians, chapter 5. Paul had the same problem as he's dealing with the church of the Galatians. And the problem is that they knew about salvation, they knew about the gifts of the Spirit, and yet they went back into living the old life that they had lived before. Now, again, I talked with you and introduced this a little bit to you last week. If, if, if I show you that you can have a tractor and that that tractor now can do more work in one hour than two mules can do in two weeks, but yet you insist on plowing with a mule, something's not working. You don't fully understand what I'm saying. Or if I tell you by, by, by way of life and by way of scripture and by way of testimony, not only of our own but others, if I tell you that, that the word is true when it says give and it shall be given to you, if, if I tell you that and if I show you that and if I demonstrate that in scripture and if I show you that through the lives of businessmen all over the world, if I show you that and for you to continue not to do it. It's hard for God to break down a barrier in your life. Because with many of us, the way the barriers come down is that God puts us in a position where we have to sacrifice. God puts us, Jacob, in a position where all the trickery in the world won't get you out of what you're in now. That Esau is coming and you fooled him once and you ain't gonna fool him again. And he is mad and he is, he, 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 he has the intent of teaching you some lessons that he wanted to teach you before you ran away from home years and years and years ago. And so now you need a God on your side. And that's why Jacob learned the lesson of I won't quit, I won't let you go until you bless me because he finally understood I've got to incorporate what I've learned into my life. Chapter 5, verse 1 very simply says this, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free, and don't be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Don't be entangled again. If you know that carrying around vengeance and anger is only making you poisoned, why would you continue to do it? If you understand that being in bondage because somebody did you wrong and you're angry with them and, and their life is going on, but your life has stopped, why are you continuing to do that? If you've seen by scripture and by precept and by example that forgiveness is the way for you to continue your life, then forgiveness needs to be a part of everything you do. Because the reason God showed you that is so that you could put it into your life and move on to break down that barrier so that whenever somebody does something to you ever again, you won't be in bondage to that. And so that's why Paul tells the church of the Galatians, stand in that, stand in that liberty, stand in the things that God has shown you. Stand in the things wherewith Christ has made you free. You have been freed from all these things. Why are you going back now again and picking them up? Because truth that is incorporated into your life is the only truth that can make a difference in your life. 
It is only the truth that I use that can make a difference. It is only the seed that I sow that can bring a harvest. It is only the work, the muscles that I work that can be developed. It is only the love that I give that can be given back or felt. It's not what I hide. It's not what I keep. It's not what I fail to give. It's only what I put in the hands of God that God can truly bless. If you want barriers broken down in your life, it has to begin by doing what God is showing you to do now. And many times, as I've said in point number three, what God is showing you to do now is going to take an act of faith, and God's not going to tell you why I'm telling you to do what I'm telling you to do. <laughs> many times, many, many, many times, I've been places, and God has impressed upon my heart, give something to somebody. Have no earthly idea sometimes why I'm giving it. One happened not too very long ago in this very church. God, God said, give, give this. And so we did. And right after, shortly after, less than two weeks after, everything that we gave had been given back. Everything that we gave had been given back. In a short period of time. But God doesn't say that when he tells you to give. Sometimes God will have you to share with somebody and you share with those people and sometimes you see the results. Sometimes it's years later. They'll come back to you and say, do you remember me? I was the little boy. I was the little girl. I was the old man. I was the old woman that you shared with. And this is what God did as a result of you sharing with me. Barriers that are to be broken down, breaking forth, calls for obedience. Obedience is the only way to break down barriers. And if you're going to be faithful, if you're going to be fruitful, if we're going to be what God has called for all of us to be, there are things in our lives that must be broken down. Your inferiority complex has got to be broken down. Your lack of self-esteem, which is first cousin to your inferiority complex, has to be broken down. The thought that you can't do it has to be broken down. The fact that God can't do it through you has to be broken down. The fact that where you were born and who you were born to has to be broken down. The fact that you don't have an education as great as somebody else's has to be broken down. Because the only way to break forth is to break through barriers. Water can never, ever, ever do all that it wants to do unless it breaks through all of the barriers that are set before it. But as it breaks through those barriers, the more barriers it breaks through, the clearer and the purer the water becomes. And as you break through barriers of your life, the purer and the cleaner your life, your worship, your praise, your motive, and your attitude becomes. And then, then, God can use you to break down barriers in somebody else's life. Let's pray.